A long-awaited massive invasion of cicadas is now swarming large areas of the east and midwest, and these little bugs can be deafening. <laughs> That's what they sound like, but if they're anywhere near you, we don't have to tell you that. This group of insects is called Brood 10, and it emerges from the ground every 17 years. The swarms are so big in the Baltimore, Washington area that they show up on National Weather Service radar. Good news is they won't stick around much longer. Ben Tracy shows us what the bugs are doing while they're here and how the rest of us are coping. In the backyard of Jessica Helms' Maryland home, we were getting over 2,000 a day. It is peak cicada season. Bye. Her six year old Olivia started counting them. We found many bugs, but quickly ran out of fingers and then buckets. More and now more we and had more. to watch where we're stepping. Cicada shells cover the ground and hang from the trees. And while all of this may terrify many adults, you think I'm kind of lame? Yes, I do. Olivia is now invested in these insects, giving the cicadas names and rides on all of her toys. We are surrounded by cicadas. We are surrounded by not just the cicadas, but their sound from every direction. Sammy Ramsey is an entomologist at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. He's also known as Dr. Bugs. Cicada season has been so exciting. Pretty much all the cicadas that exist are out of the ground and they are in the treetops. This is the symphony section of the experience. The cicadas are now letting themselves be heard. Oh, wow. Yes. Dr. Bug says it's just the males making all that noise at levels that rival a garbage disposal or vacuum cleaner. About 73 decibels. They are trying to attract female cicadas, which have notoriously high standards. They get the chance to sit around and say, mm, I don't like him, I don't like him, I don't like him, that one, I like him. For the next four weeks, the cicadas will fulfill their 17-year mission, mating in the trees to produce the next generation while trying to avoid getting eaten by a bird before they do it. Truly a majestic existence. Are you sure you're a scientist yeah. at the USDA? <laughs> Dr. Bugs isn't the only one enjoying cicada mania. These odd-looking insects are inspiring art, fashion, and music. A brewery in Virginia created a cicada beer and named it Brood X. No cicadas were harmed in the making of this beer. <laughs> which is perfect for washing down a crunchy cicada taco. So good. You'd expect the guy wearing this to enjoy eating that. But at this restaurant in Leesburg, Virginia, they're selling 30 orders of cicada tacos every day. About 50% of those that come in order a second round of tacos. Tobias Padovano is the chef. Those look tasty. I do see little cicada eyes looking at me. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're gonna look at you, they'll, they'll judge you. And then it was time for my first bon appetit. bug bite. Crunchy, nutty, it's pretty good. So our anchor Gail King really wants to eat some cicadas. Okay. Can you send her a couple of these? Oh, uh, most definitely. <laughs> Unfortunately, after waiting 17 years, the cicada's moment of glory is fleeting. They are here for a good time, not a long time. Dr. Bug says both the males and the females will die off after mating. The eggs the females lay in the trees will fall to the ground, and the 17-year cycle starts all over. Are you going to be sad to see them go? Ben, I cannot describe to you the just the sense of dread that is already in my heart, knowing that I am not going to be able to experience this again until I am in my 40s. That's perspective. And so we soon say farewell to Brood 10. We'll see you in 2038. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Washington. <laughs> ben Tracy, I'm officially nauseous right now. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. I'll stick with Frosted Flakes, yeah. bananas, No, for $1,000, I would not eat a cicada <laughs> taco. No, definitely not. 50% of the people come back for seconds. The other 50% run right out the door. Oh, no. no. You know, Tony, you made a good point. What's better than a cicada taco, one that comes in the mail? They're going to send <laughs> it to you, Gail. You can open Can't it in wait a vanilla envelope. Those. And there it is. Cicada but, beer, though. That I could try. And love me some Dr. Bugs. Yes. I think yeah. you are terrific, sir. Fun to watch.